The long bush gut near the fire department in Road Town continues to be a major cause of concern as it overflows its bank each time there is heavy rainfall, flooding the surrounding areas. This was the case again as Tropical Storm Maria passed the Virgin Islands. For District Representative Dr. Vincent Scatliff and NDP candidate Mark Vanterpool for the 4th District were both on the scene on Monday and they spoke with JTV News about the situation. The scene was hectic on Monday as traffic slowed to a halt near the Road Town Fire Station as an all too familiar problem arose once again at the site of the sudden heavy rains brought on by a tropical storm Maria that was making her way across the Leeward Islands. The rains weren't all that heavy, nor were they as prolonged as has been the case in the past, but still the results were the same. The troubled Longbush gut once again overflowed its banks and reports of flooding quickly spread throughout Road Town. In no time, a HIMAC and its operator were seen skillfully clearing debris from the raging waters that were trying to flow freely to the open sea, but were being inhibited by fallen trees, garbage, and what would be described as a channel that was simply too constricted to contain the heavy flow. On site to observe and oversee the clearing of the gut were two familiar faces, both of whom hold their own interests in not only the Longbush gut, but Road Town, namely VIP 4th District Representative Dr. Vincent Scatliff and NDP 4th District Candidate Mark Vantipool. Both men were doing what they could, directing traffic and answering motorists' questions about what was taking place and more importantly what was being done to rectify the ongoing problem with the gut. But despite working together on Monday, it became clear that to an extent, both men were on opposite sides of the bridge, so to speak, when they explained to JTV News how they wanted to approach the issue of the gut. Honorable Vincent Scatliff said he met the flood problem with the Longbush gut when he came into office, and it was present even before that, but the Rotan flooding became a priority for him since then. Scatliff said that the introduction of electrical cables reduced the capacity of the bridge and it is now necessary to raise the bridge, a move he said will be made when the money from the CDB loan is acquired. I met this um, flood challenge here in the district when I came to office. Even before I came to office, it was here, but when I came to office, I treated it as a priority in terms of addressing the, the flood in road town. As you will see that um, that grill work with some electrical cables sort of reduce the capacity of the bridge. So we are just awaiting the funds from the CDB loan to raise this um, bridge here as a matter of um, priority. So as soon as the money is available, we're going to be raising this bridge to sort of increase the, the volume, the water volume capacity so to take it out to the, um, the Pelican Channel out there across the other bridge. Meanwhile, 4th District NDP candidate Mark Van Poel gave his own slant on what the problem is and what he believes the solution should be. Although Van Poel agrees that the bridge needs to be raised, he said that the construction that started on the gut has actually aided in the restriction to the flow of water in the area. It's something that needs to be fixed permanently and uh, this area here, obviously the, the road needs lifting to allow the water to flow whenever it rains. And uh, I believe that the part of it must be to do with the construction that was done in the, in the, in the gut that is uh, preventing some of the, um, the uh, flow that goes down to the, to the sea. It's incomplete. Number one, it doesn't look well for the city. Number two, uh, I don't know that the engineering design was necessary to have the uh, steel and with the idea of a column in the middle where uh, debris can't flow as well as it should. I think it is the age with, this, with the width of the, of the gut that we have here. I don't know if we necessarily needed a middle column that is preventing the, uh, the debris from flowing as well as it should. But the main problem I think is here on the bridge where we need to improve the bridge and lift it and hopefully that can happen very soon. Both Scatliff and Van Poel say that they are ready to tackle the problem that has been in existence for over the past four years. Although their views are different. They say that the end result they are seeking is the same, which is to bring about an end to the constant problem of flooding at the gut, which usually results in even more flooding in the Roll Town area. This is Walter Barrett for JTV News.